Action. 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 Roland Joffe, two-time Oscar-nominated director of The Killing Fields and The Mission, returns with an epic film that explores the nature of humanity. Let's dream now while well, we can. I think it's a movie about forgiveness and reconciliation. No human being, not one of us, is free from human weakness. No one. I wanted to make a story that is about bringing love to the world, about the absence of love in the world and what that does. Because when love goes, it leaves a vacuum. And that vacuum can fill with very, very, very unpleasant things. Fear, hatred, despair. It's set in a time of extraordinary strife and suffering. How many dragons are there, Abeliza? Many, Jose Maria, as you shall see. She scares me. Two childhood friends grow up to find themselves at a crossroad. There's no such thing as a small life. We all suffer the same agonies and deal with them in our own way. I heard your sad news, Manolo. Yeah, you have been in my prayers. Thank you, but I don't need your brand of sympathy. However sincere. One friend, Jose Maria, turns to faith. Jose Maria's idea was that you find sanctity, you find your religious experience, not only in the church itself, but in the very act of living in your very, very kind of daily life. While the other, Manolo, turns away. Then why refuse me? Because jealousy is ugly. Manolo is full of love. It's just it's got tied up in a dreadful knot. And his love very quickly and easily transforms into anger. <laughs> Yet both must face their demons, their dragons. Do it. I think you have mountains to climb, and I think it will be painful. And whichever path you take, it is never too late to seek redemption. And this movie is made for all human beings, with the sure knowledge that all human beings count, all human beings have value, and all human beings, as Jose Maria would say, are capable of being saints. There be dragons.